and they are a ballet group that's going to be performing selections of the Nutcracker Suite. Okay. And then from about 4 to 4.45 we'll have the Floyd Madrigal Choir and then from 5 to 6.30 Fritz Schindler will be performing. We've had Fritz on our show before and he's a show that you won't want to miss. And then of course there's food and drinks and hot chocolate, is that right? Absolutely. Okay. We have hot chocolate complimentary, we have cookies, uh, for sale we'll have hot mulled wine. Um, we'll also be lighting the tree right at dusk at 6 p.m. Okay, mm -hmm. it really sounds like an event that you want to bring the whole family to. Absolutely. Everybody of all ages will enjoy this event. So let's also talk about Black Dog Christmas. What is that? Uh, Black Dog Christmas. Throughout the month of uh, December, uh, we will be having lots of specials, especially on our wine. We'll have up to 30% off on selected wines. Okay. And throughout the month, please come out, purchase your gifts early. It's such a lovely thing to give a little piece of Virginia to your friends and family. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not from here, but I feel like this would be a great gift if you have somebody that's not from Virginia also. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. and then uh, let's talk about Black Friday deals. You said 30% off, is that Up right? Up to 30% okay. on some selected wines. Great. Um, the first two weekends in December, uh, our other events that we're offering are the Holiday Open Houses. Okay. And on December 2nd and 3rd, and also on 9th and the 10th of December, we will have open house where you can come in, have a complimentary wine tasting, enjoy refreshments, um, some cheese, some crackers, uh, some things that we made for special from our restaurant here, and that will happen for the first two weekends in December. Okay, and yeah. then are you all rolling out any new reds or anything like that? Absolutely, I'm glad you mentioned that because we are going to be revealing a lot of new wine, and that is mostly in the red category. So come out, enjoy the new um, reveals with our reds, and uh, see what you um, may want to take home with you. Absolutely, so if somebody wants to come see you all, you're closed the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, right? Wednesday before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We will be closed so we can enjoy with our time with our families too, but we want you to come out any other time and come spend um, your afternoon with us at, here at Chateau Morissette, see our lovely decorations, the restaurant will be open, check the availability of times for that as well. Yeah, all right, well, uh, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us, yeah. and if you want details on any of this, you can go over to thedogs.com. There is more daytime ahead. Standing by in the Grand Home Furnishings green room, we have Mitchell Tyler from SafeSide Tactical here to talk about their great Black Friday deals. Plus, Jason Stubblefield joins us to help us navigate wine for our upcoming Thanksgiving get-togethers and dinner parties. Don't go away. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge. After The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... shopping season is among us so we are getting a look at some of the fantastic deals that you can find here locally. Mitchell Tyler joins me to talk about the savings you can find at Safeside Tactical, one of my favorite spots. I, I didn't see you there but I went for my birthday well, good. to Happy Safeside birthday. and did some, did some shooting and it was a lot of fun. So what would you say is the best deal for Black Friday at Safeside? Well one of the things we've been doing, this is our uh, fourth year now is our AR-15 deals and so a lot of excitement over that we have them starting at 475 for our early bird specials so okay. um, you know our family loves the Black Friday kind of holiday even before we were in the retail business and so yeah. something about getting up in the morning and like grabbing the kids or grabbing your spouse or whatever and getting out there and it's just it's just a cool part a little bit of Americana and we're excited to be a part of it yeah it's an adventure for I mean a lot of people it's a it's a tradition that's right so are you do you all have the same hours on Black Friday okay. so well yeah we open 6 a.m. and then we're open okay. until 6 p.m. in the store and the range is open until 8 so and the range will be okay. open all day which is great so people can pick up a gun and get a great deal and then go over to the range and start shooting. Absolutely. So what about people that might not be looking for a gun, want to maybe find something else? Yeah, so we have a great option for private training, uh, which is I think something you've actually done. Yes, uh, So we're doing a, a BOGO buy one get one free on our private one hour sessions. And so basically you're getting two different sessions for the price of one and that's for about a hundred bucks and that includes your range fees and targets and, and basically everything except for ammo. So um, yeah. you'll get with one of our really skilled instructors who can take you from this is where the trigger is, if that's where you are, all yes. the way to I've been shooting for, you know, 10 years, but I, I want to really increase my accuracy or, or be better handled in situations. And I want to I brag on SafeSide. When we went, um, I mean, it was just a few weeks ago we went, and the instructors are so knowledgeable and, like, welcoming, and they make you feel comfortable. Right. We were, I was not shooting well, and she, like, 
told she helped me she like was like okay change your stance a little bit and hold it slightly different and it completely made a difference so seriously take advantage of this deal right are there any web deals um, so we have a new website that's actually launching for this kind of shopping weekend. Um, cool. So people can check into that. Our, our regular website's up and running, but uh, look on our website Sunday, Monday for Cyber Monday stuff. Okay. So we'll have some cool deals that haven't been announced yet. Okay. And then, of course, with the range and everything, that's something that's not like if you don't want to get somebody a gun. There are that's something you can get them, but then yeah. there's also so kind of gift cards. And we have gift cards, gear. we have punch cards. So um, this is one of our flashlights. So this okay. is a super bright flashlight. I don't know where you guys are. You see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, check that out. Uh, USB rechargeable. These run about seventy-five bucks. They're on sale for thirty-nine ninety-nine during our doorbuster, wow. um, and they go to fifty-nine the rest of the weekend. Okay. We also have our uh, punch cards, which is a five-visit range pass with a free rental, and that is really great because you know maybe you don't want to buy someone a. $15 range pass. You want right. something that has a little more value or something that can last a few times. Yeah. These are $120 value and they go on sale for $65 uh, all weekend long. So cool. you can get five range visits. Uh, people can use two punches, so it's not just for one person. So if you want to go in and you okay. know bring a couple people, you can do that. And then of course we have our uh, gift cards, our reload card, our Santa hat card. That's very exciting for the holidays, yeah. right? So, <laughs> yeah. um, so anyway, gift cards are good in our Roanoke store, our Lynchburg store, and cool. they'll be good on our website um, starting Monday. So, Great. So um, if somebody wants to come find you guys, uh, safesidetactical.com. They're over on Shenandoah, or, or you can give them a call. Thank that's you right. so much for coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Thank you. And let's pop over to Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jonathan Keggis for a look at your forecast. Good morning. Winds picking up as a cold front sliding through, so our nice mild start in relative sense going away as we uh, speak pretty much. Winds, again, these are gusts anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour. We've had gusts topping 40 miles an hour in spots. This cold front means business. It is giving us drier air, though, so we're going to see a lot of sunshine over the next few days. 39 now in Hot Springs. We're back in the low to mid 40s across much of the New River Valley. Still closing in on 60 degrees across south side and central Virginia as that colder air lagging as that front continues to slice through the area as we speak. But a whole lot of sunshine out there. We're going to keep clear skies for the rest of the afternoon and evening and really for the next several days, even as we have several more cold fronts coming down the pipeline. 55 degrees this afternoon. We're hanging out in the low to mid 50s now. Over the next few hours, our temperature is going to start dropping. And that's where we bottom out a little bit to later tonight and into early Thanksgiving day sunshine for with us for Thanksgiving. We're back to the mid 50s on Black Friday, but that's after a cold start with temperatures in the low 30s. We'll warm up for a short time on Saturday. Another cold front comes in, brings back even colder air heading in the next week. Parents, listen up. Each and every holiday season, there are those hot holiday toys your kids are begging for. But where can you get them and how can you get the best price? Here with a lineup of some of the season's hottest toys is Meredith Sinclair. Thanks so much for joining us, Meredith. Absolutely. It's my pleasure to be here. I cannot wait to show you all these cool things. Yeah, I'm anxious to see them. So parents thinking about heading out to hunt down those Black Friday deals. Are the savings worth it? Yeah, I think they are because already, you know, brands are reducing their, their prices and then they're going on sale again. So it's definitely worth it. And I think after today, they'll have a little bit of a focus of where, what they should be looking for. Awesome. All right. So show us some of the awesome toys that you have in front of you. Okay, first we're going to start with the latest from Tonka. This is called the Tonka Tiny's Rescue Response Playset. What's cool about this is for three-year-olds and up, it's three levels of action. It's by a brand name, a brand name Fundrise. And these vehicles are micro-sized, and they go up and down ramps and through walls, and there's even storage for the little tinies. And what's great about this is it's $24.99 for the set, but then each little tiny is only $3.99, so that makes a really great stocking stuffer as well. Yeah, that's true. It seems like all these toys are getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, kids right. love things that are miniature. They love it. <laughs> no, right. And then the next, the okay, next go thing I'm going to tell you about is um, something that's robotic for kids five and up. This is called Build-A-Bot, and it's by Colorific. What I love about this is you can choose from three different characters, a dino, a fox, or a bunny, and this really innovative click and create uh, system lets the kids make it all by themselves and then accessorize it, and then they interact with their little accessories. So this is great STEM learning for kids, and this is only $29.99. Yeah, I love the educational toy, that's for sure. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. And so in that same vein of like hands-on creating, 
I love this if your kids like to make things. This is called Smooshin's Surprise Maker Kit, and it's by MGA. And what's fun about this is you get these little pouches of color, you put them in this fun little egg, and then overnight they turn into these little colorful characters that kids can then uh, accessorize and put new little faces and bellies and play with. It's really fun. Again, it's a maker kit and it's only $39.99. And this is what I love is that it, it's going to give them things to do over and over again. It's on sale at Target right now. Yeah, the accessories seem to be a big thing. That's what I'm, I'm seeing this yes. year. Yes. Yeah. Okay, exactly. what else do you have? Anything that comes with little parts and yes, things. Yeah. Yes. So, okay, now the next three, right? The next three are like tack infused toys. The first one is called Light Seekers, and this is by a, a company called Play Fusion. This is a mobile and tablet role playing game that features these fully articulated smart action figures so the kids can play with those on their own or they can attach the fusion core and then they're instantly connected to the game via Bluetooth. They can add flight packs and weapons and they have augmented reality cards. And what's really great about this is price point wise for Black Friday, these you know range between $19.99 and $69.99 depending on what you buy. So you can buy different, you know, you can mix and match them. So that's kind of fun with price range for everyone. And then the next tech infused toy is really focused on girls and STEAM, the so STEAM talents. And this is called the Project MC Squared Smart Pixel P Purse, Smart Pixel Purse by um, MGA. This goes along with a very popular Netflix show by the same name. This purse comes loaded with 10 animations already and then a, a free app so girls can customize it all for themselves. So that's really fun. It's techy and cool and fashionable. And this is a, at a really good price right now. All the big box stores are having this on, uh, for $59.99. So that's great. Yeah. And then last but not least, this is amazing. This is the collector's edition Star Wars Battle Drone, and this is by Propel. What's cool about this is this is tech, new technology that's never been seen before in battle drones. It is great for new flyers who are learning to fly. There's even an invisible boundary that you can put around your vehicle so that you know you don't crash as much. And Star Wars characters coach you as you go. So this is going to be a really hot item. And for Black Friday, this is a big deal. It's normally $149.99, and now it's only $99. Okay, I loved everything that you showed us, but that final one with the Star Wars, I mean, that one, you got my attention there. <laughs> Where yeah, can we and go? I'm going to show you really quick. When you, yeah. it oh. even has lights and sounds. Yeah, that that's yeah, super it's pretty cool. amazing. That's super cool. All right, where can <laughs> we go for more information on these toys? Everyone can just head on over to my website. It's called MeredithPlays.com, and you can get information on where to buy and prices, and just more information on everything. Meredith, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Absolutely, thank you. Before. there and welcome to the second half hour of Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fawns and I'm Brittany Flowers and thank you so much for sticking around. We have more still to come here on Daytime. Jason Stubblefield, blogger of CorkEnvy.com. He's here to help us get ready for those dinner parties and family functions. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. I love that sound. He's going <laughs> to tell us what we need to know about the wine and I how to survive the holidays. Well, wine. That's yeah. how you survive it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we are headed to Christiansburg to visit Todd's Jewelry to talk about some of the trends and we get details on their deals. And our friend James Umana is in the daytime kitchen. We're talking about Jason's Deli and the catering options that they have. Yes. All right. I have to tell you a little bit about what me and my family have been getting into lately. Okay. We have been watching and re-watching Pitch Perfect, one and two. Okay. Now there's a couple things, you know, my girls are young and there are a couple of little words in there <laughs> and I have to say, that's a bad word, don't repeat that. Yes. But it's been great. <gasps> have you? But you've been listening to the soundtrack too, right? The, I mean, we have we have been nonstop singing yeah. the songs and like it's in the morning. It's good, okay. It's really good. Yeah. The songs are great. Yeah. And guess what? There's more to come this December. The stars of Pitch Perfect 3 and the top 12 contestants of the season of The Voice. Yes. They teamed up for a music video. Take a look. All we have to do now is take these lies and make them true. Somehow. All we have to see is that I don't belong to you and you don't belong to me. Yeah, yeah. Freedom. I want you down. Freedom. 
This was so good. I you know, the song is now available on iTunes and you can catch Pitch Perfect 3. December 22nd, Brittany and I were just talking. You don't know if you saw the second I one? I don't think I've seen the second one. Now that we're sitting here. Oh, girl, I I you've got to watch it. it they is were in so Joanna great. says they were in Europe. Yes, they go to Europe for the world. Nope, I haven't seen the second <gasps> one. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'll sing you the songs if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> I do as soon as we go to break. The holiday specials are starting to roll out. Do you have a favorite holiday movie? Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Oh, That's absolutely. Favorite. Absolutely. It is the That's best Christmas movie out there. That we watch it one. every year. All right. Well, I know that you kids might have a new favorite soon. DreamWorks oh. Trolls Holiday. Oh, they do A half trolls. hour animated musical special is set to premiere Friday. November 24th at 8.30 p.m. right here on NBC. Ooh. The feature film Trolls earned more than $153 million when it was released last fall. This week's special features the same A-list cast, you know, that your kids love. We just saw one of them. Oh, yep. uh, it, Anna Kendrick, Justin Timberlake, mm -hmm. all new songs, a great story of giving. Here's a sneak peek. Got another card from Troll Village. Oh, yay. Thanks, Todd. I'm Chad. He's Todd. I yep, got it, Chad and Tad. <gasps> Ooh, look, Grissy. It's another card from Poppy. Happy Catch Your Friend Day? Ooh. What if you drop her? I mean, we're not insured for that kind of thing. I would never, ever drop Poppy. Never. But Evs, babe, the trolls have so many holidays. Too many holidays, if you ask me. Well, I think it's... <laughs> Kinda nice having so much to celebrate. Hey, Bridgie, we do cool stuff too. I mean, what about all those awesome cards we sent back to them, huh? I love it. I'll tell you what, Trolls is a good movie. It is really yes. good. Yes, and great music to it too. Yeah, Justin mm -hmm. Timberlake, how can you go wrong? I know. Honestly. All right, an animated adventure in the land of the dead and an awards contending drama head to theater this weekend to battle the Justice League. Rick Damagella has a look at how these films are predicted to fare. Once every year, our ancestors come back to our world. Please have a safe journey. To see family <laughs> and friends. A holiday film about a different holiday heads to theaters for the long holiday weekend. Pixar's Coco is an animated tale based around the Mexican holiday Dia de Muertos or the Day of the Dead. The movie is already the highest grossing film of all time in Mexico, where it is approaching $50 million in just over three weeks. The Hollywood Hollywood Reporter says Coco could open to between 55 and 60 million dollars, with Deadline adding it could trend as high as 65 million over the long holiday weekend. Mr. Ramirez was told he was not under arrest and yet he was refused use of the bathroom. That's a violation of civil rights. You can wait and address this at trial. Oh, I would like to address it now. I'm just saying. Well, Mr. Israel. Oscar winner Denzel Washington could be looking at a future nomination for his turn as Roman J. Israel Esquire. The movie already has award season buzz and heads into wide release after topping the limited release box office this past weekend. Variety's pundits predict the legal drama could bring in $5 million during its expanded rollout. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. The holidays are here, and that means dinners, parties, and family gatherings are upon us. Uh-oh, and since many of these <laughs> gatherings will involve wine because they have to, yes. Jason Stubblefield <laughs> from Cork Envy is with us today with some tips for serving, sipping, and savoring wine. Yes, we're going to do all those things. Yes, because yes. yes. that's how we survive the holiday exactly. season. Exactly. Yes, okay, so many of us are thinking about bringing wine as a gift to a mm -hmm. party. Mm -hmm. Great gift. Yes. What should we consider when it comes to choosing wine for a gift? All right, well, if you know the host well and you know what kind type of wine he or she enjoys, then yeah. maybe buy something like that. And if you know him better, you can spend a little money. But generally, bubbly is always a good idea. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I mean, it's celebratory, it's festive, it's, mm -hmm. it's awesome. So we can do that. But then you start thinking of price-wise. If you're going somewhere where you don't, maybe don't know people as well, yeah. you know, $25 or less is probably a pretty good point. And okay. stick something okay. kind of simple, maybe, you know, Sauvignon Blanc, a Pinot Noir, you know, don't, don't get something that's way outside of anyone's, right. you know, yeah. the normal person's uh, comfort zone as yeah. far as wine I was gonna, drinking. I was gonna yeah. ask you about right. the cost, yeah, because I never know how exactly. much to spend. But if somebody brings you wine right. and you're hosting, can I open up that bottle? So yeah, so now you're hosting a party, someone brings you wine, uh, it's 
you can open the bottle. I go to a party every year mm -hmm. where part of the fun is we open the bottles that everyone brings to the party. Oh, I uh, So I keep that in mind, and I didn't know that the first year and took a wine that I wouldn't have taken otherwise, <laughs> but that's okay, oh, yeah. it's yeah. all part of the fun. Okay. Yeah. So that's a fun thing, but if someone brings you wine and you want to open it at a party, go ask them if they mind if you open it or let them know that you're opening it beforehand, and then when you do open it, offer them the first taste of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. That's so good. it's perfectly so fine who, to do that. who good got it for you, you say, you get the first taste. Absolutely, okay. I try to do it as discreetly as possible, because you know we're at a party, so yeah, yeah. true. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. let's talk glassware. Sure, that's where I get confused. I drink everything out of a mason jar. Of course it is, and I think that's I think that's okay. <laughs> a rule classy. of thumb for me, especially for people not like me, whose house is overrun with glassware, yeah. uh, of various sizes and shapes, is try to serve something in, maybe in the in the same size glass, whether it's white, red, or anything, especially uh -huh. if you're having a larger party or larger dinner. Uh -huh. Okay. And if you don't have enough glassware, a mason jar is great, all or right. Why not? a plastic okay. red solo cup if yes. you want. It doesn't Plenty matter. We're all you know. When I was a kid, our, our Thanksgivings involved being in a small two-bedroom house at my grandparents with like 40 of us in there. And, and we're the eating off effect, our laps right? on paper yeah. plates. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all about Don't being together. Don't get too wrapped around the actual yes. about that. Sure. Okay, all right, let's drink. Okay, okay. What, what do we try? <laughs> Bam, so drinking. So here's just some kind of general holiday pairing tips. Uh, sparkling, bubbly, always great. Yes. Okay. We have this nice sparkling Pinot Noir Brut Rosé from, Brittany, you want to guess where this wine's from? Yep, let me just read it's this. It's New Mexico. It's from New Mexico. <gasps> yes, it is. Look yes, at that. That's what I'm talking about. And this about. is delicious. Yes, I know I brought a, a wine from New Mexico on before, sparkling, that Brittany loved, <gasps> but I found another one. And this I do is like amazing. this. Amazing. They do great wines. Yeah. Where did it go, New Mexico? So bubbles are always great. Pair okay. with everything, appetizers, even meals. Yeah. Almost everyone loves bubbles, right? Yeah, absolutely. And if you way. don't, maybe stop being friends with them. Right. Yeah. You don't need to be friends with, with people who don't like bubbly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next? All right, we've got a Sauvignon Blanc. So we want to, for pairings, stick with Sauvignon Blancs or maybe a less oaky Chardonnay. Okay. That's going to pair with a lot of your foods that you're, you, part of your foods that you have on the table. Plus, it's great for parties when you have a lot of variety of foods. So something acid driven. Mm. Now, this one right mm. here. Cool. I think yeah. even Brittany likes this one. I was going to say, what's, yeah. the, what's like the aftertaste that I'm tasting here? Is it like a pear or like some kind of fruit? Yeah, I'm getting. A, yeah, there is a little something. bit of an apple. Yes, uh, apple, like apple pear in there. Something. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, Look at right? you, it's nice. Natalie. I know. See, I'm very sophisticated. But it's got the acid in there as well that carries that flavor, and this is going to cut through uh, a variety of uh, hearty, yeah. savory flavors on that's your plate. That's a good there. one. Yeah, that's great. Okay. All right, and the last one, if you're gonna if you're gonna do a red, I want to stick with a Pinot Noir or like a Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a Pinot Noir from Willamette Valley right here. Mm -hmm. Um, it's pretty acid driven. It's got some fruit on it, so even non wine drinkers are gonna, you know, perceive this to be a little, little more, a little more drinkable with their meal. Okay. But it's got that acid as well that's gonna hold up well. So just yeah. kind of some general tips there. If you want some more tips, like go to my website. Look at our segment last year. We actually went through several wines last yeah. year. We as did. I we did. But CorkEnvy.com. Yes. That's your website. That's it. You can go on there. He has so much information. Thanks. So thank you awesome. so much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. And happy Thanksgiving happy to Thanksgiving you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Yeah. All, All right. right. We'll be right back. The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Well, the holiday shopping season is here and I'm in Christianburg with our friend Todd Ratliff at Todd's Jewelry. So Black Friday, uh, Small Business Saturday, um, this is kind of a great place to get gifts. So Absolutely. do you have any deals going on? We have some really, really special deals. I'm really excited to tell people about. Uh, the Forever Us, Two Hearts Together is a really uh, popular style. Uh, the, uh, the Halo style is really popular for the pendants and earrings. Yeah. So there's more than a few things I could tell you about. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so if somebody wants to, you know, come down here, ask you about the deals, maybe kind of, um, how does the process typically work? Somebody comes in and they're like, I, I don't know what to get. How do you, what do you tell First them? First thing I do is ask, what does the lady, does she like yellow gold? Does she like white gold? Okay. Is she really uh, partial to rose gold? What is some of her likes? Hopefully they can give us a little bit to feed on there. Yeah. And then after that, we kind of go with, uh, do are you thinking more earrings? Because uh, uh, mm -hmm. you want necklace? Give us a little bit to go on there. And we just, you know, build on what you have in mind already. Yeah. We try not to uh, find something for you because we want to know what she likes. It's real important to make sure uh, she's happy when you open up that package. Absolutely. And everybody here, it is so nice. So you don't have to be overwhelmed when you walk in. They can no. just ask questions. Yeah, no hard sell here. That's not that's not no fun. So yeah. it's more fun to go in and uh, let us ask what you want and try to help with what you want. Yeah. Works up much better. I like that myself. And one thing that's <laughs> coming up, you have the Italian jewelry. Is it, is it a sale? Yes, it's a, this is going to be like a, an Italian show that we're going to do just one day only. It's December okay. 5th. 
and he's going to have over a million dollars worth of inventory that day only. Mm -hmm. uh, and he'll have anything from the uh, sterling silver to uh, 14 10 karat gold. Uh, there'll be uh, vintage jewelry. Everyone loves the antique uh, vintage style, especially in the silver. It keeps costs way down. Yeah. And you can do the silver with diamonds as well as colored stones. Uh, he'll have earrings, pendants as well. Okay. But uh, we're really excited about that for December 5th. December 5th, so mark your calendars for that one. Is this something that you've done a few times before? This will be the first time we've ever had this in our store and we're really excited about it. Um, we, we try to always have some kind of really cool um, jewelry show uh, that's unusual that what we'll, we'll break it up next year and do something a little bit different. Hmm. Just always have something uh, new and exciting when you come in. Absolutely, and I think it's nice to have something like a unique piece yes. that, you know, that's such a nice gift. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, you're but the only person that, that has Everyone this. doesn't have, my wife especially likes that, so absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we like something that everyone else doesn't have that you don't see on everyone else's hands, so it's always kind of cool to see something out of the ordinary. Yeah, so if somebody wants to come visit you all, what's your holiday shopping hours? Uh, we will be here Monday through Friday from 10 to 6, Saturday from 10 until 3, and um, we do that uh, through November through the middle of January. Okay, and you're here in Christiansburg. What's your address? Address is 1050 Peppers Ferry Road, Christiansburg, Virginia, and we're located a half a mile from the mall. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm in the daytime kitchen with James Umana. You may recognize him. He's been on the show before, but today he's with Jason's Deli. Yep. And Jason's Deli, I haven't heard of before. Tell me about it. Okay, so um, we are based in the great state of Texas, in Beaumont, Texas, because um, oh. all good things start in Texas. <laughs> um, we uh, were founded in 1976 um, by a sweet family named Joe uh, Totoris. Um, and so what you'll find at Jason's Deli um, to this day, a lot of our um, recipes mm -hmm. come from that same family. Um, our muffaletto mix, our sandwiches are named after that same family. Um, and our ingredients are again, we work directly with our suppliers. Um, mm -hmm. So there is no middleman. So what you're getting is high quality ingredients all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we deliver sun up to sun down. Um, and we are actually the first uh, restaurant chain to introduce catering into the business, so we know exactly what to do. Um, we can do last minute catering, 90 minutes is all we need. Um, so if my turkey, <laughs> if your turkey goes, array, goes bad tomorrow, mm -hmm. I can call you up. You can call me up, 90 <laughs> minutes. Um, for me, I'm actually based in Atlanta, uh -huh. and we feed Delta employees, I'm 700 in two hours. Do you really? They call it 9 a.m., we pump it out by 11 a.m. Wow. Not a single kick. That's incredible. Yeah, so and we're I was good. reading here that you're the first chain to get rid of artificial trans fats. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you did it 2005, 2005, way before the trend. Before anyone did. Um, our meats don't have any nitrates. Um, and nitrates, you don't really know what they are. Um, but there's something that causes you to have uh, meat sweats, mm, which is kind of gross. Real, um, yep. And then mm -hmm. bad nightmares, which I didn't know either. Yeah. Um, so when you do eat a lot of nitrates, you get some bad nightmares. But there's none of that in Jason's Deli. I love it. All right, so when we come back, we're going to build some wraps, right? Yep, we're going to build right. our Italian starting pinwheels. All right, so don't go away. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge. Mm, Oops. Looks good. Thanks for watching Daytime Blue Ridge. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Daytime Blue Ridge. Everyone. All right, we are back in the daytime kitchen with James Umana, and we're putting on gloves because we're going to get to work here. Yes, we're gonna get right? To work. Yes. What are we going to build? So uh, today we built our um, muffaletta. So it's our classic New Orleans sandwich. Mm. Um, we get that bread delivered every day um, mm. to our delis. I um, in here you'll see that um, we've put in our top secret olive mix that was um, created by Shelly uh, Totoris. Um, sliced salami, ham, and provolone cheese. Oh my gosh, um, so if you sounds want, so good. Right? All right. So if you want to roll that one Get nice it, and girl. tight, I'll start on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, this one will be our basil pesto aioli. Um, mm. This is our roasted red pepper tomatoes that we'll just spread around. Kind of make a little island. Nice. From here, we'll pile on our turkey. Mm -hmm. um, and then top this off with Asiago cheese. And these mm. pinwheels are so versatile, you can um, make these at home and kind of put whatever you want in them yeah. since these are hot. But I love these, like, I feel like if I'm thinking pinwheels, I do very one. basic things, but yeah. this is like giving you new flavor ideas mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. 
So anything and everything can goes in it, um, and then you just kind of slice them. I mean, um, I, I feel like I'm a professional. I, I'm just gonna say I'm doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, I'm really proud of you. Yes, right yes. And you slice and dice, and you got this pretty looking pinwheel. Look at that! I love it. Yeah. And do you toast it? We do toast them. Mm -hmm. um, they are in the oven to get that cheese melted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, All right. I can pull them out. Uh, do, is later. that just kind of like a quick? Sort of toast. Yeah, just a quick couple yeah. of minutes just to get things melted and a little warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and what that. what else did you bring? I mean, talk a little bit about what Jason Deli's all about. Yeah, here. for sure. So today I brought you guys our um, new catering for entertaining packages. Mm -hmm. cool. um, I brought us our modern meat and cheese tray, which is here. It's too far away from. It's too far say, away. Yeah, you're trying to feed. Like, cheese always like um, toss it. <laughs> here, yes. catch. And then um, my favorite <laughs> is our Bon Appetito package, um, and it comes with these meatballs, which I'm a sucker for good meatballs. Oh my gosh! And I, yes. I eat a plate of meatballs for lunch. I have no shame in admitting that. Yeah. Um, our yeah. Italian pasta salad, which is broccoli, olives, um, red peppers, um, our Italian dressing, and of course, nothing's mm. complete without dessert. What are uh, these cookies? Right? So I brought you chocolate chip, white chocolate chip, macadamia yes. nut cookies, yes. cranberry yes. walnut, yes. and then our um, peanut butter and fudge brownies, mm. and then just our plain old fudge brownies. Oh my gosh, uh, can we just talk about, have you eaten this meatball yet? I'm it's eating it so right good, now. It's so good, isn't it? It's good. so good, I love it. I, Eat a plate of meatballs probably once a week, and I I, that's do it. That. I, I don't need really pasta. Good. That's, that's good. it. Just that is meatballs. really good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the um, the, the pinwheels? pinwheels out of the yeah, oven because sure. I want to try one of those too. Yeah, for sure. So, um, like we mentioned earlier, you cater. We so. do cater. We cater for anything. These packages are especially um, mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. for. Any sort of uh, party with the gloves birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> she did no work, but nope. she has her gloves on. Birthday <laughs> parties, the tailgate. Um, mm -hmm. I know okay. we're playing UVA this weekend, so uh -huh. that's perfect to pick up in Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. um, anything and everything. They're actually designed to feed groups of ten people. Um, we are very big about convenience at Jason's Deli. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So this is one-stop shop. If you're feeding fifty people, get five, and then you're good to go. All right. So order online. Or visit them in Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. Or download Jason's, our app. Yeah, jasonsdeli.com. This is really good. Yeah. And you're going to share this recipe. Yep, I'll share this recipe. All right. I won't share the olive recipe because it's top secret, but All right. we can find it. We can okay. make it work. All right, daytimebluridge.com. James, thank you so much. Thank yeah, thank yes. you guys. Next on 10 News at Noon, we're working for you to get updates on investigations into Uber, the details against the ride-sharing company, plus a former Virginia Tech engineering professor is charged in a federal court what's led to his arrest when we see you coming up at the top of the hour. James, we have to uh, thank you again mm -hmm. for coming on the show oh, yeah. and telling us all about Jason's Deli. Anytime. We are enjoying this thoroughly. Brittany was this doing a happy so dance. This is so good. Right. <laughs> I, I am literally doing a happy dance, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes, happy Thanksgiving we'll to here. you. We will be off the show tomorrow, but we'll be back with you on Friday. If you're live from WSLS, this is 10 News at Noon, working for you. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patrick McKee. And I'm Jonathan Kegis. We are enjoying some sunshine outside, but you say things are about to turn cooler for us. Yeah, we're already starting to see that colder air push in. We can feel it if you step outside, at least in the wind, that a cold front is working through the area. Things are gusty outside. We had gusts already over 30 to 40 miles an hour and things are staying windy outside as we speak. Here's a live look with our airport sky cam from the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport. Getting a lot of use today. The biggest travel day of the year underway. Temperatures again under mostly sunny skies going to work their way back up into the 50s falling through the afternoon. We'll talk much more about that in a couple of minutes. Thank you, Jonathan. New at noon, a former Virginia Tech engineering professor has issued federal charges. According to the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Virginia, Yi Jing Jing is charged with one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, three counts of making false statements, and three counts of false claims to the U.S. The indictment says Zhang applied for around $600,000 of grant money from the National Science Foundation while he worked at Virginia Tech. The money was supposed to be used for research, but it's alleged that he tried using the money for other purposes. The weather is relatively calm across the country, which is good news for airports and travelers as the busiest travel week in more than a decade is heating up. Many Thanksgiving travelers are expected to leave today 
While many of those travelers will fly, the majority of them will hit the road. According to TripAdvisor's annual Thanksgiving travel study, more than a quarter of a million Americans will drive to their destinations. Many of them plan to leave after work tonight. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving, that's today, tends to be one of the busiest travel days of the entire year. This year is expected to be no different with even more people traveling for the holiday than we saw last year. Despite a recent jump in gas prices, we're expected to see the highest number of travelers on the road since 2007. VDOT is working to alleviate some of those headaches for drivers by pulling out construction zones and opening up extra lanes throughout the weekend. While we can expect a majority of those closures to be reopened, there are a few that will not. The drivers can expect uh, the, those permanent work zones uh, that we can't pull out to still be in place. And there are a couple of areas in, in the Roanoke and Uber Valley that people should probably be aware of. Now, two of the biggest closures that will remain in place are Route 11 in Troutville, where construction is taking place near the new roundabout, and also at mile marker 105 on Interstate 81, where construction continues on the new River Valley Bridge. With so many people leaving right after work, the 5 to 8 o'clock time frame this evening is expected to be one of the busiest on the roads. The best time to travel will be waiting until late tonight or waking up early tomorrow morning. Now more than 4 million Americans are going to take to the skies with big crowds expected at major airports. 10 News reporter Aaron Brookshire joins us from the Roland Blacksburg Regional Airport now. So Aaron, how are things looking for folks here at the lunch hour? Well, Patrick, definitely good news here at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport. We are not seeing much in the way of major delays. You can see TSA, the line hardly there at all. We were seeing a few little lines downstairs as people were signing in. But while today tends to be the busiest day of the year for many airports, that's not the case here in Roanoke. Brad Betcher, the director of marketing for the airport, says the busiest travel days here in Roanoke typically fall on the weekend before Thanksgiving when students from Virginia Tech, Radford, and Roanoke College are all heading home for a week-long Thanksgiving break. Now, additional TSA staff have been brought in throughout the week to help with that bump in travelers last weekend and to keep things moving smoothly throughout this week. And while we're not likely to see major delays or cancellations because of heavy crowds or bad weather here at home this week, we could see blowbacks from other major airports if they start really having issues. We have something, say, on the other end of the country. That's not going to impact us. But like you said, the Atlantas, the Charlottes, the Philadelphias, the Chicagos, the Washington Dulles, those are the ones that would have a big impact if we have uh, off-schedule operations there. Now, for the most part, flights across the country still moving smoothly this afternoon as well. I want to give you a look at the Flight Aware Misery Map. This will give you a better idea of how many delays and cancellations we're seeing right now across the nation. Since about 9 o'clock this morning, we've only seen one cancellation. We are seeing about 187 delays, though. Many of those coming out of New York City, also coming out of Atlanta and Miami. You can see all of those there. But here at the Roanoke Regional Airport, things still moving extremely smoothly, looking good this morning. We were seeing a few minor delays for flights coming in maybe 10 or 15 minutes behind schedule but not having a big impact on flights leaving out of the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport at this point. Live in Roanoke, I'm Aaron Brookshire, 10 News, working for you. Good, they were not seeing huge delays. Aaron, thank you so much. We're going to see how weather is impacting travel here across the region and across the country. Hand things over to Jonathan Kegis now in the Weather Center with the latest on that. Jonathan, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Patrick. Yeah, smooth sailing across many of the major airports and on the roadways. Uncharacteristically quiet for November standards. We typically have some big storms somewhere. We do have some rain on the West Coast and on the East Coast, but most of us in the middle on the clear side. If you're getting ready to head out now or planning on after work, if you're taking 64, in the clear, the further west you go, it's going to be colder. That's where colder air already settling in, but it will be smooth sailing on the roads. In terms of any delays, we are running green across the board. Roanoke, we are in the clear, as you just heard there from Aaron, New York. All things considered, there are a few uh, individual delays in flights, but still running green on the runways. Same deal for Charlotte, Atlanta, and Chicago. Good news there is they are all big hubs. We are seeing the winds locally crank up big time. We've had gusts at times over 40 miles an hour, and now we're seeing them really crank up. Martinsville, we have a 21 mile per hour gust last hour, 22 the current wind gust in Hillsville. We'll let you know when those winds subside. If you're traveling 81 later on tonight, we'll give you that city by city forecast as you hit the road coming up in a few minutes, Patrick. Montgomery County has sold the former Blacksburg High School property to HS Development LLC. 
The Montgomery County Board of Supervisors Chair Christopher Tuck says the county will be able to reinvest the three $1 million payments into worthwhile Montgomery County Schools capital projects like Christiansburg High School. The property went on sale in 2016. HS Development officially purchased the property, paying $1 million at closing. An additional $1 million is due in April of 2019, and the final $1 million payment is due in April of 2020. Montgomery County's Economic Development Authority has purchased 124 acres of land to expand Falling Branch Corporate Park. According to the county, it bought the land for $2.5 million. The purchase is part of an effort to deal with growing businesses and attracting new ones. Just into the newsroom this afternoon, a former Team USA gymnastics doctor accused of molesting seven girls has pled guilty to first-degree criminal sexual contact. Dr. Larry Nazer faces at least 25 years in prison. He entered the plea in Michigan courtroom. Some of his accusers were also at that hearing. Now, Nazer was charged with molesting the girls under the assumption that they were getting treatment at his home and a campus clinic. All but one was a gymnast. He is still awaiting sentencing on child pornography charges and is being sued by more than 125 women and girls. We have new details on a breaking story we first brought you this morning. The White House says President Donald Trump was notified after a Navy aircraft crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Trump said in a tweet, we are monitoring the situation, prayers for all involved. The search continues for three missing people. The U.S. Navy said that eight of the 11 people who were on board the plane were all rescued. They were on the way to the USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier, and all eight of them who have been rescued are said to be in good condition. The Federal Communications Commission announces plans to scrap an Obama-era law meant to keep Internet providers from deliberately speeding up or slowing down the speed of your service. This will be based on the app or website you're using. Under the current net neutrality rules approved in 2015, Internet providers like Comcast and AT&T are barred from deliberately speeding up or slowing down traffic from specific websites. The goal was to prevent Internet providers from picking winners and losers among content providers. Now the chairman of the FCC is introducing a plan to leave it up to the Federal Trade Commission. The FCC will vote on the repeal on December 14th. The Republican-led agency is expected to approve it on a party-line vote. Receiving presidential mercy before Thanksgiving. President Trump pardons turkeys have arrived in Blacksburg to live out the rest of their days at Virginia Tech's Gobbler's Rest. They sound happy. That's the 2017 National Thanksgiving Turkey drumstick and his alternate wishbone. They arrived at Virginia Tech last night after the pardoning ceremony in the Rose Garden. Now this year's birds are joining Tater and Tot, the two turkeys pardoned by President Barack Obama last year. Now while they are expected to eventually share the same space, they're not yet being kept in the same pen. We're going to tell you much more about their trip to Blacksburg coming up tonight on 10 News starting at 5. Well, we are working for you to keep you from getting overwhelmed by the massive amount of online shopping deals. We've got details on apps and websites dedicated to helping you navigate the bargains. But first, we'll give you a live look over the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport this afternoon. We're seeing just a few clouds in the sky. Good afternoon. Lots of sunshine. It is windy, though. We have a cold front slicing through the area as we speak, so colder air going to pour in momentarily. You can see the camera shaking around a little bit as it blows around in the breeze. Live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Sky Cam. Again, a lot of sunshine. We are keeping sunshine throughout the rest of the afternoon. Clear skies stay with us overnight. It is going to remain breezy through the afternoon and evening. Sustained winds on the clip of 15 to 25 miles an hour. Higher gusts. We've already seen gusts top 40 miles an hour in Roanoke and in surrounding places, especially the higher elevations. We're back in the lower 50s by 3 o'clock as we keep our sunshine. Upper 40s by 6 o'clock. So that colder air already starting to stream on in as we continue through the rest of the afternoon. Keeping things breezy again, there's 3 o'clock wind gusts on the order of 20 to 30 miles an hour across much of the area keeping the winds elevated this evening as well. Watch what happens though as we go overnight. Those winds start to calm down a little bit 
while the winds are calming down, that is going to allow the colder air to settle in. Clear skies, calmer nights lead to temperatures cooling much, much quicker. There's midnight going into tomorrow, so the drumstick dash going to be cold, no doubt, tomorrow morning. But at least we're not going to have a breeze as strong as what we have out there right now. Maybe a little wind, but not as breezy as what we're seeing right now. We are in the clear locally, the southeast corner of the United States doing just fine. If you are planning on traveling later today by road or by air, some trouble spots. There's only a couple. We have that disturbance we were looking at this morning that has now left New England. It is pushing up towards at least New York, I should say, pushing up towards Boston and Maine. But that is going to slide offshore in a little bit. We do have a weak disturbance sliding through Minnesota, so some light snow falling just north of the Twin Cities. Disturbance working its way onshore as we speak. So again, if you're flying out to Seattle, state of Washington, state of Oregon, may run into some delays out west as uh, that thing comes on shore. Travel by car or bus or train or anything on the highway today, taking 81 north or south. We are in the clear. Only exception, we've been talking about it for the last couple of days, going to be Syracuse, New York. If you're going that far north on 81, the same system that is cooling us down, going to kick up the lake effect machine over the lakes over the next couple of days. So just be on the lookout for that. Everywhere else, we are in the clear. On the weather front, we do not have any delays to report. There's a few individual delays per, for flights out of the New York City airports, but there are no major delays throughout the eastern seaboard. We have clear skies again throughout the rest of the afternoon. Skies stay clear tonight, tomorrow morning. It is just going to be cold, though, if you're heading to the drumstick dash. Not as windy, though, so that's at least some good news. Temperatures by 11 o'clock jump back in the lower 40s for Thanksgiving for the afternoon. It's going to be on the cooler side again, but seasonably cool temperatures around 50 degrees. We are mainly sunny for the rest of the afternoon. Temperatures getting back again into the low to mid 50s. Tonight we are clear. We are cool overnight lows into the 20s right around 50 tomorrow. Cold for all the folks standing in line overnight for Black Friday down to around 30 mid 50s on Friday. We do warm up. On Saturday, that's your day to get Christmas lights up because another blast of cold coming in for early next week, Patrick.